We are looking at an example for the week five Excel problem number two. Uh, they want us to use pooled data across the treatments for problem one to test if the distribution of plaque clearing follows uh, distribution 25%, 50%, 25%. So that's saying that uh, overall, is it the case that zero, um, that 25% of the population has zero to 33% uh, clearance, 50% of the population has 34 to 66% clearance, and then the last 25% of the population has 67 to 100% clearance. Uh, run the appropriate test at the 5% significance level. So this is a chi-square goodness of fit test here because we're testing to see if the population follows this distribution. So our null hypothesis here is going to be that the distribution does indeed follow the distribution of um, P1 is 25%, P2 is 50%, P3 is 25%. And then our research hypothesis is going to be that that's false. So the population does not follow that distribution, some other distribution. We don't know what it is, but it's different. So here is the data from, the, from problem one that's carried over. And then we need to compute our chi-squared test statistic here. So I want to show you how to do that. So we've got our percent clearance given here in the first column. And then we want to carry down our pooled observed numbers. So total observed in the 0 to 33% clearance were 66. So that's going to go here. Uh, total observed in 34 to 66% clearance were 60. And that goes here. And then total observed in the 67 to 100% clearance were 74. And that goes in that bottom row. Uh, next, we carry down our expected uh, proportions here. So that's the 25, 50, and 25. So 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25. And then what would we expect to have? What would our expected frequency be in each one of those categories? Well, if the 25% is true for 0 to 33% clearance, um, then we would expect that 25% of the total, 200, would be um, the amount we'd see. So we're going to enter in a formula here. Start with equals. We're just going to take that grand total of 200 and we're going to multiply it by our expected frequency of 25% and enter. And then I did the same thing here. So I did E9 times C14. So that's the 200 times 50%. And then here it's the 200 times the 25%. And then this last column is uh, the terms in our uh, chi-squared test statistic, which are observed minus expected squared divided by expected. So we'll start with a formula here. Uh, number observed, uh, well wait, we need parentheses around that. So parentheses, number observed minus number expected. Close our parentheses. We get a exponent of two on that. And then we divide by our expected, which was the 50. Enter. So 5.12 is the contribution to the test statistic for that entry, uh, for that category. And then we do the same thing for the other two rows here. So this 16 was observed minus expected squared, divide by expected. 11.52 was the 74 minus 50, square it, divide by 50. So then um, what I did down here was I put a total row. So I just totaled these guys up down on the bottom. Uh, so it's the sum. And that's our chi-squared test statistic, which got carried over here. Okay, so, so then uh, the p-value for that chi-squared test statistic. Oh, uh, by the way here, our critical value with, uh, this is uh, two rows and three columns. So that's one times two, two degrees of freedom. Row minus one times column minus one uh, is 5.99. And 32 is a lot bigger than 5.99. So we're actually going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that uh, H0 is false. OK, so the population doesn't follow that distribution. Also, our p-value here is really small, 8.17 times 10 to the negative 8. That's um, scientific notation there. And that's coming from the chi-square.dist.rt function. So uh, we input the 32.64, which was the test statistic, and then um, two is the other argument there, which is our degrees of freedom. 
So the chi-squared test statistic and then degrees of freedom and then we press enter. That's how we got our p-value. So that's really a lot less than 0 0.05. So we're going to reject the null from that also. So the conclusion uh, from this chi-squared test is that the population does not follow the distribution of 25%, 50%, 25% in these clearance categories. So you can use this as a pattern for your problem. I think the only difference is that you have four categories and your, your distribution is going to be different with four categories.